With automatic Champions League qualification almost guaranteed for Manchester United. Now it's to see what position they're going to finish up against Arsenal this weekend at Old Trafford. Let's talk some tactics. So with Manchester United coming uh, in, back onto the back of a win against Crystal Palace, that one man who they seem to be using more so than anything else is Ashley Young. So let's first look at Manchester United's team that they had out against Crystal Palace and see how they played. So if you see there, that's the 4-1-4-1 and they're trying to make this, they've got this makeshift back four because they're consistently having to deal with injuries. Christopher Small went off, uh, Luke Shaw and Wayne Rooney all seem to go off, although Van Gaal is confident that Shaw and Rooney will be back. So what I imagine is they'll go with a similar 4-1-4-1 formation. I think Small and Shaw will make it back, Wayne Rooney will come back into his position up top. But the first thing I want to highlight and the, the, the only thing I want to really mention about Manchester United against Arsenal is they cannot suffer the same fate that they had against Chelsea in which they shut down their main form of attack and that is Ashley Young at the moment because he's lethal when he gets onto his right foot as Fellaini seen when his goal went into the back of the net against Crystal Palace. When you get Ashley Young forced out wide, he's either going to take you on down the line, he's going to cut back onto his right foot and that is what Manchester United need to use and Arsenal will try their best to shut this out the way that uh, Chelsea did. So when the ball comes wide to Ashley Young, when you find him one-on-one, -on -one, specifically against Arsenal, if you see Arsenal's right back usually is Bellerin, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I think it's going to be a great race between two of the fastest Premier League players. So if you look here, when you get Ashley Young one-on-one -on -one in the wide areas, him against Bellerin is going to be a fantastic race. It'll be a great one for the neutrals to watch. If you fancy him one-on-one, -on -one, what Ashley Young usually does is he'll go down the line, he'll cut back onto his right foot, and that is where Fellaini does this loop and run into the back post, and he tries to find them straight away with a good ball into the back. But what Chelsea did so well, which Arsenal will want to do, is they would bring across Matic, and in this uh, situation, it'll be Coquelin, the defensive midfielder for Arsenal. They'll try and double up to force Ashley Young with nothing else to do than go back. But with Luke Shaw coming into the game, what he did do against Chelsea unsparingly throughout the game which he has to do more is he has to support down the line because if you get Luke Shaw coming in Ashley Young can then cut inside Luke Shaw can find the running behind and he'll cause uh, Bellerin to drop back deep and it'll, he'll be left one-on-one -on -one again because that's where Ashley Young is best when he's one-on-one -on -one, he's confident he'll go through he'll, he'll take on the player every time but if he's two-on-one he'll always drop back so uh, it's kind of something that Manchester United will have to do but also if Arsenal are watching my tactics videos which I hope they are Arsene Wenger take notes uh, they will probably do the same thing and put a defensive midfielder across there because Man United's main threat with Wayne Rooney kind of shooting blanks at the moment, he's not really getting into his groove as he was before, it's Fellaini because Fellaini's big, strong, physical and when they get the ball into the back post with him there, that is when Manchester United are more dangerous and that's what they'll have to do. If Luke Shaw is fit, he needs to support the attack and of course, that's going to leave gaps that Arsenal can exploit. So let's talk about what Arsenal can do to exploit this and turn it around as their positive. So if you look at their team, they lined up with against Swansea. Similar to the Manchester United formation, Arsenal go out with a 4-2-3-1. But this 4-2-3-1 transitions into a 4-1-4-1, very similar to Manchester United because Cathola does not sit deep that often. He tries to pick up the ball directly in the middle of the park and spread it wide to Ramsey, who's been playing on the right at the moment, and Sanchez. Uh, World Cup might start against Manchester United to get that pace out wide. But what happens is when you play someone like Ramsey, this is obviously going to play in Manchester United, in Arsenal's favour if Man United start throwing their fullbacks forward because you know Valencia loves to commit to these tackles. So what I would do specifically with Alexis Sanchez, if you look here, is make sure that he gets right on to Valencia because Valencia right now, uh, although he had an okay game against Crystal Palace, if the game before was his worst game of the season against Everton, he loves to try and win the ball in these areas. So when Manchester United throw players forward, I would just have Sanchez sit right on Valencia, sit wide. Because it will, what it will force uh, Manchester United to, to do is rethink their attack. Because if they throw Luke Shaw forward, Valencia usually comes into this area, which he shouldn't be doing. Because he has to fill into this rank. It's kind of like a, a horseshoe movement. When one player goes forward, all your defenders should shift across uh, and, and draw back into the midfield. But with Juan Mata in there, they don't usually do that. And they leave all this space that Arsenal can exploit, especially that man, Alexis Sanchez. So uh, the best thing that Arsenal can do, and Arsene Wenger will be well aware of, is to turn Manchester United's attack attacking threat into their own attacking threat and switch it right back on them. Because that's what good teams do. That's what Everton did uh, uh, when they were withholding all the pressure from Manchester United. And one swift attack, they turned it around. And Arsenal have players in abundance that will utilise this. Alexis Sanchez, to name one. And the best thing that they can do is get the ball wide early and get it into Olivier Giroud, who's in the box. So uh, those are the two main tactical things I think will come into play in this game. Of course, the battle for second place is still there, although I do think Manchester City will have it wrapped up. So that's the battle for third place. Manchester United win this game. 
Pressure's on Arsenal. It could switch around towards the end of the season. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. There's my prediction for the game at Old Trafford. I think that Manchester United will concede early. I fancy Arsenal to go up, but I think United will come back. Uh, I think they'll grab a goal. I imagine Fellaini will go on the score sheet again. 1-1, one, one, and then I think the ball will be an Arsenal squad to drop out of that third pole position. And if Man United finish fourth, still a successful season. But what do you guys think? Leave your predictions in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win this game? Is my tactical analysis right? Do Manchester United need to find ways to utilise Ashley Young? And do Arsenal you need to find ways to utilise Alexis Sanchez? Those are the two main men for this game. Thanks again. Subscribe to TYT Sports.